What's your favourite number? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or some other number? I don't know, but you do. Actually, all of these are good numbers, but only one of them is perfect, and that's number six. Now, what on earth do I mean when I say six is a perfect number? Well, I'm glad you asked. I mean something very special about that number. If you think of all the smaller numbers that will divide exactly into six, how many have you got? Well, one will go into six six times, two will go into six three times, and three will go into six twice. So we have three. Four and five won't go into it evenly. What happens if we add those three numbers together? Let's try it. One plus two plus three, we get six, which is the number we started with. That's why we say six is perfect. Now you might say, wait a minute, perhaps that happens with lots of numbers. All right, let's try another one. Take 15. How many numbers will divide exactly into 15? Let's start at the beginning. One? Yes, of course, that'll go into it 15 times. Two? No, because 15 is an odd number. Three, yes, that'll go into 15 five times. Four won't go. Five, though, will go into 15 three times. What about six, seven, eight, nine? No, none of the others will go into 15 evenly. So we have three small numbers to add together. One plus three plus five makes nine, which doesn't match with 15, and so we say 15 is not perfect. Now, here's a challenge for you. See if you can work out what the next perfect number will be after six.